This ain't no darn Jiffy Cornbread. Y'all better put some respect on my name. This is your boy, Chef Finest Wine. I'm here to show you how to make some real cornbread dressing from scratch. Look at all that deliciousness. Please hit the like, subscribe button, share this video out. If this is your first time here, sit back, relax. You're definitely going to enjoy. Stay tuned. Hey guys, what's up? It's Chef Finest Wine. Welcome to my channel. Today, I am going to instruct you guys on how to make down home dressing like grandma used to make it or your mama, you know what I'm saying? Or your aunties. I'm making it that way. We're not using no jiffy, no sweet cornbread, no cake. No, because at the end of the day, over here in my household, if I make some jiffy dressing man i'm gonna get my ass handed to me so we don't want that we want to do it old-fashioned way old school you know what i'm saying so you got to make sure you have your cornmeal i have cream of chicken i have onion soup mix sage i have tony's creole seasonings i got poultry seasonings some salt two eggs we have ground white pepper onion powder Asian seasoning. I have Kings for original smoky, garlic powder, onion salt. Uh, I have sugar. This is going to be for the cornbread and flour. That's one cup of sugar. Correction. Only use a half a cup of sugar. You're also going to need um, two cups of cornmeal. Okay. You're going to need about one tablespoon and a half of vegetable oil, any kind of oil, you know, that you could put in your mix. You put the two eggs in the cornbread this is my dressing. seasoning blend. I'm not chopping up no onions and all that stuff. It's already chopped up. And here we have our turkey parts, our turkey neck, with our turkey legs, turkey wings. So we're gonna season these up real quick and throw it in some boiling water. So I think I'm gonna use a little onion powder on here, a little salt and black pepper. All right, what's up guys? When you guys are making dressing, you're gonna make sure you put your turkey parts and boil them. This broth that we're gonna use inside of the dressing, okay? This is the broth we're gonna use. We have some chicken broth for that, we're gonna use that. This is turkey broth, this is better, okay? I'm gonna work opinion. on our cornbread. We're not using chippy, we're using straight up old school cornmeal dressing, all right? So, the first thing that we're gonna add to this is our flour. We have two cups of flour. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and make sure we get all of the flour out of here. We're gonna add the same amount of cornmeal. This is my recipe for homemade dressing. Once your cornbread is ready, then you are going to 
we're gonna add a little some salt okay you gotta add make sure you add some salt so this is a half a teaspoon full of salt kind of equalizes out everything okay salt is very important now we need baking powder all right we have our baking powder we're gonna add about a teaspoon full of I say that's enough. Not too much. A little bit more. Okay. You add some oil. I'm using olive oil. Okay, that's about one tablespoon full. You can add some melted butter. Okay, now go ahead and add your melted butter to your mixture, your cornbread mixture. That was one whole stick of unsalted butter, okay? Now we are going to add our milk. We're gonna add two cups of milk. And we're gonna start gradually, okay? So, actually we may not need two cups. We'll see as we mix. So far, that is almost one cup. Yeah, we'll most definitely need to add more milk. So that was a full cup. We'll need to add some more. It's still thick. We don't want it that thick. So let's say a half a cup. We're not just gonna dump it all in at once, okay? Consistency we want is nice and smooth. And you make sure that you get your edges, get those clumps out of there. I think we'll add a little bit more milk. We'll probably use, make two, uh, two bowls of these, okay? So it's gonna be two pans of cornbread. We're gonna make sure we oil our pan down real good. We have some olive oil. This is to avoid your cornbread sticking, okay? Hands are clean, rub that in. I do have a cast iron skillet. They say your cornbread comes out better in that cast iron skillet. So I may put some of the cornbread in there too. All right, let's go ahead and pour our cornbread in here. Make sure y'all don't forget that recipe now. Hold on to it. A lot of people don't know how to make just old fashioned cornbread. Because honestly, for a long time, I didn't know. So I had to learn. 
Let's go ahead and place it in the oven on 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. All right guys, our cornbread is out of the oven. So we're gonna work on sauteing our vegetables because that's what we're gonna add to the dressing. All right, so let's go. Okay guys, this has everything in it. Our celery, onions, bell peppers, red peppers. So we didn't need to chop up any celery because it's already, everything is chopped up. Kill two birds in one stone, you feel me? We're gonna saute, saute this a little bit more. We're gonna saute this a little bit more. And we're gonna add it to the dressing, all right? Stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, we are back. Here is our cooked cornbread. We have our vegetables that have been sauteed. We're just gonna add that to our dressing. Normally I would fry up some bacon and use the droppings of the bacon and put it in the dressing, but this particular okay. time I did not. It came out to be a lot of cornbread, don't y'all think? So, we have our big spoon here because we're gonna need it because we're gonna do a lot of stirring. First thing we can add, we have two eggs. We can add that to the mixture, okay? Evenly distribute it inside of the dressing. Next thing I have is cream of chicken. Go ahead and add that to our mixture. I made some of this dressing for Thanksgiving too, and it was bomb.com. I actually made it when I was in Vegas. So, did you guys get what you wanted for Christmas? There is really nothing that I wanted, you know, because I have everything, you know, and that I want, if that makes sense. All right, so I'm gonna add some Cezanne, just for added flavor. I'm gonna add probably another can of chicken broth too. This is also what I add, about a half a pack of onion soup mix, Lipton's version. That gives it a lot of flavor too. Actually, that's the whole pack, so that's fine. You can add the whole pack. You can have some more chicken broth. I'm sorry, not. We get us some more cream of chicken that we're gonna add. That just gives it more flavor. This dressing got a lot of flavor in it. Normally, to be honest, when I make the dressing, I do fry up some smoked bacon. And I don't put the bacon in, but I put the droppings of the bacon in there, okay? This is our cooked turkey part, our meat. So we have a mixture of turkey next along with turkey wings. I also like my dressing to be thick. I don't like no soupy dressing. I do like a lot of sage in my dressing too. Okay, I feel like I'm missing something. So let me see. Okay, well, this is the broth that we boil our turkey with. We're just gonna start slowly pouring some of that in here. Here's where we add our poultry seasoning and our sage. So 
I say we'll add about, I'll add about a tablespoon full of poultry seasoning. And then I'm going to add some sage. Here's where our big spoon is going to come in handy. More broth. Don't just dump it in at one time, just slowly, kind of gradually put it in there. I still have that feeling of I'm missing something. I don't know why. I know I put everything in here. Egg, vegetables, celery, onion, bell pepper, broth, cezanne, cream of chicken, We'll just give it a taste. It's really good. Really good. Doesn't need any more broth. We're good on broth. We added two cans of chicken broth. I'm sorry, two cans of cream of chicken. Uh, I'm going to add a little onion salt and some more sage and poultry seasoning and some more sazon. More sage. And poultry seasoning.
All right, guys, this is the dressing right before I place it in the oven. We're going to put it in the oven for a good 350 degrees on for about 25 minutes tops. I am going to cover it and then uncover it. The uncovering is just to simply brown the top fresh out of the oven this is real cornbread dressing get into it with turkey parts it's thick nice little color on the top okay and it's very meaty and thick i hope you guys enjoyed this video please if you decide to use my recipe tag me in the video let me know that you're gonna make it i appreciate you all much support much love and until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Now, in your family, who makes the best dressing? Tell me down below in the comments. So the only thing I would change in the recipe, we're not going to use one whole cup of sugar for the cornbread. We're going to use a half a cup of sugar. And besides that, the recipe is perfect. You will not regret it. See, look at that. There you go. Fresh homemade dressing. Let's get into it.